The surprise, should we just show them? I think we're running out. Look how slow we're going now. This is not good. How are you finding the road trip? Yeah, it's different. have so much to catch up on. I don't even know where to start. By the title of this video, you probably know I have gotten some form of a new toy. I am with Josh, and what's gonna happen right now is I'm going to skip back to last night to show you what the new toy is, how it happened, and give you a bit of explanation also as to why I've got this next to me. Are you filming, sir? Yes, I am. We are about to release a surprise. We are. How excited are you? Very excited. By the title of this video, you know something's happening. I'm actually in a bit of an unpredictable place. Come on, come on in. At Archie's, Archie <laughs> Hamilton's Racing, whose channel is down below. Very good friend of ours and who- Very, we, very good friend. Very, yeah. <laughs> we're like yeah, this, we're get like room. This. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, anywho, uh, we're at your house. We are. Because he's kindly invited us over to stay the night because we are homeless. And we have, as the title of this video probably indicates, a surprise, which is not this, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that would have been lovely. Like, and here we are. <laughs> I bought another car. <laughs> I won the lottery two days ago and I got fucking crazy. <laughs> the surprise, should we just show them? Should we just show them? No beating around the bush. Is that the saying? It's always that, been well, sexual yeah, for me, that saying. Kind of yeah, yeah. Let's not beat around that bush. A childhood dream. Let's beat around this bush. Dream. I always thought I was Michael Schumacher, which I turn, turn out I'm You're nowhere not. near. <laughs> right. So I was never a very good driver, but I always really wanted to get into racing. But never really had the opportunity apart from renting go-karts. A few, when was it, a few months ago, I, yeah. I was talking to you and I was like, listen, I'm going to buy a go-kart. I've always wanted to have a go-kart, I'm going to get myself a go-kart. And you were like, well, listen, mate, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a freaking go-kart that I'm not using and you live in the place where the best go-kart tracks are. Yeah. So then we were like, let's Let, do something. Let's do something. Ta-da! I am the one, don't wait your time, don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Yeah. This is our new toy. So this is Archie's racing go-kart, which yeah. uh, we are sort of going to be sharing down in Monaco. So we're going to be bringing this down to Monaco. It's going to live at your house. It's going to live at my house. It's, it's, our, it's ours. How nice is that of Archie? So we're going to be using this down in Monaco where all the nice tracks are yeah. and going to be doing footage of us, you sort of teaching Josh and I how to become better drivers. We're all going to learn about the mechanical side of things yeah. and the whole driving side and mainly it's just freaking badass. We're going to have so much fun. And it's like a childhood dream of all of we us. We can also fire it up. We don't even, we'll, we'll always need to be on the track, do we? we yeah, we just fire it up, do just, like, cruise down here su and there. supermarket shop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, just like, you know, some num whack some number plates on. <laughs> yeah, I done. swear, policeman, it's totally legal. <laughs> it's the new Fiat Punto. <laughs> <laughs> This is it. It is, and, and this is going to be so much fun because these things are seriously quick. So you're I'm, saying 90 miles an hour. 90 plus, yeah. 90 plus miles an hour. Because it is so tuned. It's a senior Rotax, and it is just so quick. These are carts that race at the top level. So you'll jump in it, and you will shit yourself. But yeah. apart from that, it is so much fun. And fitness-wise, everything else, it will teach you so much about the racing mechanics. Because it all goes together, because we're doing these new fitness videos, which are now going to play into yes. our elderly racing career. <laughs> because I mean, the goal at the end of this is to go from go-karting to maybe doing some races yep. to then going up to more things and starting. Because you don't need to be like, oh, I want to be a Formula One driver to be a racing driver. Like, exactly. There are people who are 50 years old who are racing in smaller categories who are still having a great time. So that's kind of what we want to do. We want to do racing at our own pace in our own way. And this is how we're going to start. So rather than sort of bore you with too many details now, because we're going to show you all of the mechanics of it and show you us driving it before, the first thing we need to figure out is how we... We're currently <laughs> in England, in case you didn't know that Archie doesn't live in England. How are we going to get this from England to Monaco? Well, that's the adventure we're going on now, which, which I probably spoke about at the beginning of this video. First of all, <laughs> we fit this into the Defender, and we've just realized that that might be a bit of a problem. We were like, oh, we <laughs> when we were planning this trip. So we have spanners, and yeah. we are unbolting stuff. Let's, shall we show them the, the problem? The boot, once you're in it, is really nice and wide, and the cart will be in fine. The problem is the door. We generally don't know if it's going to go in. So we just need to... <laughs> we don't even know. To and this is when the video ends. It's nearly midnight. <laughs> we have to be up at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It has to be done, guys. We're going to get it in. Right, let's, Sleep let's unbolt. when you die. Unbolt and get her in. He just found out that... They have ratchet spanners. He, Rat is, a, no, a ratchet he is a spanner. Well, ratchet, yeah. is that? Ratchet's an and American word for cool. Ha okay, well then that's you. Also, we're going to be improving your knowledge of mechanics because you instantly got here and only pointed out 
that's an exhaust. Yeah. So, I, I looked at the exhaust, I was like, that's an exhaust. That's, that's it. <laughs> like, I got this. here and I was like, guys, we like mechanics. And then I realized <laughs> I was got just... It's got an exhaust, guys. Funny that. Doing nothing. <laughs> All laughing, I took a gearbox out this morning, fitted a new clutch and put it back in before I picked you up from the airport. This is Seb Delaney, a professional mechanic. Do you feel you're under control? No. Do you feel you could be? No. <laughs> <laughs> How confident are you feeling, Josh? They're all fit. <laughs> you sure? Are you feeling confident? No. We have a big problem with this. Seb, are you alright? Oh! Hey, we need sit in the back or something. <laughs> Mate, it's in! Mate, it's in! Come around the other side and just actually show Look. what's going on here. That is what's going on. Actually, no, that's not, that's not that bad. Mate, it's not that bad. We managed to get it in. Wait. That's what she said. <laughs> So yeah, that's that. What happened is we ended up being able to stick the go-kart in the back of the car, didn't we, Josh? We did. We are on our way to Paris. This is the go-kart. We've covered it so it doesn't look as lethal as it really is. This probably isn't 100% legal. Probably not. We are racing to the Euro Tunnel. The sat-nav tells us we're getting there right now, two minutes before check-in closes for our Euro Tunnel Transit. So we are not feeling that confident because this defender won't really do the speed limit. It's, 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 it's inaccurate at its best. We are having to literally rally drive our way through these. I am calling the corners that are coming up from Waze, which is on my phone right here. We're having to predict the corners to see how much braking we can to make up all the time we can on every corner. You're taking the first exit going left here. Uh, leaning, leaning, go for it. Boom, onwards, that is the situation behind us. We got a go-kart, we got bags. If we break down, I have belts. You have I belts? can jack the car up, I have a seat for you to sit on, I have a PS3 if you get bored to play. Yeah, PS3 want a drink? There. Fine. Need a suit? Easy. What yeah. else do you want? We are heading to, the pa to Paris today because we've got something coming up which is really exciting tomorrow. And yeah, it's pretty hectic as usual, but you know what? Predictability is boring. If we get there, then I'll agree with you if we make it. Okay. We need launch control here, Josh. I need to get in front of I'm these not other sure people. If we can do launch. I've got lag control. Okay. Three, two, one. Shit. That never works. Go. Got him. Got, got him. Go. 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 Yeah. Oh well, he got us. And I got the other person. Who has a purple BMW with a beige <laughs> interior? It's a strong look. He's definitely called Alan. 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 Alan? Alan! 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 Steve. You okay there? Steve! Steve! Oh, so that's not Alan. Steve, that's no. Steve. Steve! 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 Are you having a buffering moment? You don't know what this is, do you? No. Right, okay. For the viewers, Seb has never seen Prince of Bel Air. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Write what you want to him now in the comments because he deserves everything you say. I've never seen Prince of Bel Air, it's not strictly true. I've never watched a full episode. I've seen bits of it, sort of like in airports and stuff. That's just, this, that's even worse because you've seen a little bit of it and you didn't continue with it. Yeah, we're getting him. It's a drag oh, race. Oh, it's a drag no, race. He's, get, he's got us, he's got us. What's just happened? I think we're running out. I think we're running out of fuel, of petrol. Oh, we were rushing, no. so we didn't have time to fill. Oh my god, we're 22 minutes How away. How far are we from the next petrol station? I have no idea. The I thing have... is, if you run out in a diesel, you have to flush the pump. No. Yeah, you have to flush the pump, fuel pump, so you can't just go and put... Okay, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up on my phone. How sure are you that we're running out? Is it when... Take it easy for now. Gonna run out. This is not good. Look how slow we're going now. Are you a hundred percent? I'm out. Oh, it's turned off. It's turned off. Oh god. That's so weird because it tells us we've still got like a quarter of a tank left. Where's my phone? I'm gonna have to call the AA. Uh, I ran out of fuel. Waiting on the side of the road for the AA. This is such a nightmare. I am changing the booking for our Euro tunnel, which I can do, but we've only got a certain amount of choices of three times we can go. I'm hoping that I called it early enough to that we don't have to flush the pump. Yeah. Should I book for quarter past four? And it's when we get food and eat. It's just driving dark in Paris. Yeah. Because we all know how that turns out. Do you know what the second problem is? What's the second problem? I'm going to have to pretend to be a 59 year old man. Yes, because of the insurance and the adapt. Well, just, it's, I don't have AA cover. 
So you're only your dad has an AA cover? Yeah, I have no AA cover. I have enough clothes to dress up like an old man. Yeah. We have everything. I got a suit. Are you actually going to put a suit yes. in? Yes. Yeah. Every little helps. Where is it? It's behind you. We have everything. Want to be an old man? No problem. Suit. Let's go. <laughs> You've actually put a suit on? Yeah. Why have you done that? Well... You are 59 do you, years do old. I look older? Yeah, you look 59. I know why this has happened. Why? Because we're going to bloody Paris. <laughs> why every time when we go to Paris is there some sort of problem? Josh, where are you? Here's an idea. Step the chair out. Yeah. Broke down. Need Broke chair. down. Need a chair. Need I'm a suit. You, We've I got it all. Food. What's the food? Is Show you some food. PS3? Yeah. <laughs> Play some PS3 while oh, we wait for the guy. Why are we in such a good mood? <laughs> I don't know. You brought Wheater bits. Yeah? Artsy montage of getting the chair out. Go! Well, this is romantic. Huh? This is romantic. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Quiet little spot. Yeah. <laughs> There's the car. Need headphones just in case you break down the next to a motorway? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> what do you want? What? What do you want? What, what you, what's the choice? Uh, fruit, oh my god! Fruit, banana, pasty. What did you? Oh, what did you say? I've got some uh, bacon sandwich, uh, sausage sandwiches, cheddars, any kind of crisps you want. I've got what's it? I've got. Uh, oh, these when are nice. did you pack all of this? You never had them, have you? Apple, what do you want? You're a madman. Why did you pack everything? I have a banana. Yeah, you have a banana. Yeah, thank you. Bacon or sausage sandwich? Uh, bacon, please. Bacon. No way. When did you do that? Perfect. It's got my name on it and everything. It's a bit of an odd way to start a road trip, this. Yeah. How are you finding the road trip? Yeah, it's different. Different? Yeah, it's unusual this yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. Josh, Josh, he's here. He's here. Hey, hey. Josh has gone to see the guy. Uh, I shouldn't really film it, so we'll, we'll pull back to you in a second. Yes! Yes! Our hero! You are a hero, thank you so much. How are you doing? Thank you for saving us. So the car is working now. Yes! High five! High five! Yes! High five. Thank, you. thank you so much, we are good to go! Yes! Let's drive to Paris! So now we can carry on to Paris! Oh. I cannot believe what just happened. He was the nicest guy. He didn't believe it. He didn't see, he didn't think I was 59. Yeah, he didn't believe you were 59. However, but we were very lucky. Oh, you're talking to him and then I pop up. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, hi, I don't know what's going on. And then he looks and he's like, I know okay. you, I know you. And I was like, oh, I, I don't know, who knows, I don't know. And then you explain and long story short, he's one of you guys, he watched yeah. the videos. So helped us out really quickly. Really, really nice guy. And now we're back on our way, and yes. we're gonna rework the Euro Tunnel. We're yes. gonna get there on time. Yes, all is well. Nicest guy. Yeah. And thank you so so much because we, yeah. honestly we wouldn't have been able to get there. If, yeah. If you had yeah. Done. So, so thank, thank you, you AA. Thank you AA. We're here. We're here. Finally. This has been uh, quite the start. It's not over. It was supposed to be the sort of two-hour start of the journey. We haven't even made it to the long part of the journey yet. We face that next problem. Paris. Oh, and also, yes, getting, getting into the Euro Tunnel, getting onto it with the go kart right there. Problem number two. Well, that was actually the quickest I've ever gone from arriving at the Euro Tunnel to onto the train. And they didn't say anything for the go kart. And we don't have to worry about the whippy aerial. And we don't have to worry about the aerial because we have gotten the high vehicle thingy. Perfect. And this has gone so well. We've just been sorting the back of the car out. We've reorganized a bit and we have literally just arrived in France. We did that just in the nick of time. We did. We haven't yes. been able to go to the toilet though. We've managed to be able to get to France, which is already a good start with the go-kart, which is another good start. And now we both need to go to the toilet. So we're gonna stop at a petrol station because we're in no real rush now. Welcome to France. Ah, oh, that's better. Feeling tired yet? I'm feeling tired, but I'm just happy with this side now because it's closer to home. Closer to home. Closer to Monaco. We're gonna get there eventually. I can't drive this car because of UK insurance, so Josh is gonna be doing all the driving. Which is not gonna be the easiest thing ever, but I think he can do it. Fingers crossed there won't be any more drama along the way. Junk food Josh is back. Junk food Josh is back. What are you gonna go for? 
Uh, where are we? McDonald's. We're gonna. I'm gonna go for a um, chicken sandwich. Okay. Sick. Oh yes, we've got some food. So today's shout out goes to Iqbal Ali. Thank you so much for your love and support on the YouTube in the comments. If you want to get a shout out, you guys know what to do. Comment down below. And you might get a shout out in the next video. Yes, it came out weird. I was like, that, shout out. That's how we do it now. That is how we do it. It's how we've always done it. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yes. I wanted to say something else. Oh, uh, we just had McDonald's. Dinner's no, gone. No. Hour and a half to go. Yeah. Is that it? No. Uh. Ah! Also, if you guys have not seen the Seb clothing, I'm wearing the hoodie right now. There's 30% off it right now. 2017, start of the month, end of the month Jesus. kind of thing. So 30%. We're not kidding around. The code is written down here, Seb Sale 30, all in small lettering. And you just whack that in and you get 30% off. So the t-shirts go down to 20 pounds and it's just all fantastic. So that's a piece of good news. Piece I'm excited good news. about that. I hope you guys get those. The link will be in the description down below. So go enjoy those and let's hit the road. Let's get back on the road. We've made it. We have finally made it. And uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here because we are both, ooh, we are both exhausted. So thank you so much for watching. We are back with the main reason for why we're in Paris tomorrow, which is gonna be really fun. And then the rest of this adventure, which has started kind of well. We've had one breakdown already. Probably gonna have some more. We're expecting it, but that's part of the adventure. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you aren't already. See you soon. Cheers. Bye. Hey, Quick cat saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Juliet for no.